Let's talk about a, a game that was a lot more fun. UAB went to UTSA and lost 34 to 31. The post game win expectancy numbers here per college football data was UAB 93%. If you did not see this at the end of the game, what was what's the guy's name? Oscar something. Uh, da, 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 scoring plays. There we go. Uh, Oscar Card- Cardenas caught a one yard touchdown pass that was actually tipped at the line of scrimmage uh, or tipped, I guess, behind the line of scrimmage. That was batted up in the air. He caught it in the end zone with three seconds left on the clock. Just absolutely fantastic. It, the fans rushed the field afterwards. Like the what is it, the Alamo Dome is uh, is where they play. It was unreal. And and I've got family that were actually down there that were taking video from on the field. And that fan base is rabid. There were so many people at this game. There it, were over thirty five thousand people in the Alamo Dome. A dude sent a sent a uh, sent me. A, he, he sent a screenshot from the press box. 110 decibels. It was insane yes. in there on TV. You could tell they muted it because the announcers are so much louder. You could just hear kind of the dull roar. What an awesome game! Like this was just back and forth in the first half. They basically just traded touchdowns. Five consecutive drives. They scored or four four consecutive drives. They scored touchdowns and then swapped field goals at the end of the half. Like this was just haymakers back and forth. Dude, shout out to. Uh, what Frank Harris, 25 and 36, 323 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. That's awesome. But if you look at uh, Zachary Franklin is the wide receiver, yep. had a monster day for them, 97 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, Clark Clark had 104 yards, too. He's great on volume. Franklin had a one-handed catch in the first half for a touchdown. That should be on every highlight reel ever. Yeah. I mean, Harris put a good ball. It was like, this guy gets it or not. And he just brought it in. I mean, it was just, it was incredible. He brought it in. That This game, Gary, my favorite thing about this game it didn't matter for the playoff. They didn't say playoff in the broadcast. No. We were we were there for the Conference USA West Division title, and it ruled. It was one of my favorite games yesterday. It was phenomenal. The way that UAB lost this game, they did throw one one interception. I don't believe did that one actually lead two points. I don't believe it did, um, but I don't remember. Uh, let's see. No, the interception they punted after, and yeah. so maybe you could argue they flipped the field because. They so they punted and UAB starts at their own ten and then they punt and you know and you, uh, UTSA, UTSA comes gets back forty four yeah. yeah and then they kick a field goal but I mean the the defense has showed up in the second half after kind of an explosion in the first half you have the the UTSA touchdown to answer and then only a field goal until UAB scores uh, in the fourth quarter and then. I mean, UTSA had to drive the length of the field twice because they went for it on, or they had first and 10 at the UAB 41, four straight incompletions, uh, or three three straight incompletions, and then went for it on fourth and 10. And then they had to drive 77 yards to score the winning touchdown. So it was stressful there for, for UTSA. They basically had to put together two scoring drives to, to get that last touchdown. The, the way that UAB was able to lose this game, total yards, 474 for UAB, 375 for UTSA. UTSA, by the way, 34 rushing attempts for 52 yards. UAB held them to 1.5 a clip, and that is impressive Jeez. against this offense, against against Frank Harris yeah. Jr. and Sincere McCormick. To be able to do that, Sincere McCormick, by the way, 20 carries, 65 yards total with one touchdown, which that should tell you about the sack-adjusted yards right there. I mean, the fact that he had 65 and the team total was 52, that's everything you need to know. UTSA was actually 8 of 15 on third downs, 0 of 1 on fourth downs. UAB, 5 out of 12 on third down. So... You know, it's not great, but, you know, better than blah. So uh, the way that UAB actually lost the game, look at penalty yards. I love looking at, like, these hidden yardage totals. Oh, yeah. Six yeah. penalties for 35 yards for UTSA. UAB had 13 for 124. Like, that will get you beat time and time again. They they extended drives for UTSA. They cost themselves yards, put themselves in bad situations. This was uh, This was a fun ball game. I mean, UAB is is such a well coached team that you knew that that they were going to come in here just guns blazing. And now, as far as the the standings go for Conference USA, we have actually got pulling it up right now. We've got Western Kentucky on one side, and this was basically for the Conference USA West. And UTSA has got this thing wrapped up now. I mean, he's got two losses. They can't lose. Yeah, they can't lose it. So UTSA against Western Kentucky, and if you remember that game, we talked about it on this show. That was a hell of a game. Hell of a game. So I'm yeah. I'm excited about this. Uh, Western Kentucky still has, who have they got? Uh, they still have at Marshall. Okay, so so Marshall laying out of this thing. Marshall's only one game back. That's going to be a fun ball game. 
Marshall yeah. Western Kentucky next week is going to be a lot of fun. So. I, I think so. Um, one, I want if it's Western Kentucky, that's especially interesting to me because, dude, shout out to UTSA's defense. 474 total yards for UAB. 383 of those came in the first half, and then 91 total yards in the second half. Absolutely turned the water off. The only touchdown was a short field after a, a pretty decent punt return for UAB. UTS, on, on the other hand, UAB, I mean, they, they, we have to shout out Rice here, I think is what I have to do. I'm trying to figure out like where to go with this. But Rice has two of the, the, the weirdest wins, season-altering wins, this season and last season. They beat UAB this year at UAB. 30 to 24. And then last year at the end of the season, remember they beat Marshall, even though Grant Wells is hard to hurt. So it's a little bit like Rice just out of nowhere beat a really, really good UAB team. Other than Rice, these losses at Georgia, of course, versus Liberty, understandable. And then at UTSA, this team is very good, way better than the seven and four, uh, maybe, maybe seven and five, depending on how UTEP looks next week that they're going to finish. Like this is a really solid team. The thing that like the Rice game is the one that just really really irks you, right? Like, Liberty, you can understand. Yeah. Georgia, you can understand. And, and at an undefeated UTSA, you can totally understand. The Rice game just made no sense. Just no sense. Uh, when you go back and you look at, like, the uh, the team stats on that, uh, again, UAB had 10, uh, 10 penalties for 108 yards against Rice. Like, you can't yeah. you can't win ball games when you're, when you're having double-digit penalties for triple digits. I mean, that's, that's bananas. Oh, my gosh. And Rice had scoring. We need to get out of Rice. I'm sorry. Rice had scoring <laughs> drives of 50 and 51 yards to start the game to go up 13 to nothing. Yes. That's wild. That's just flu. That's crazy. Yeah, and short it, fields, man. Put you, it, something else. put you in a hole every time. Every time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.